Here are the game engines I'm currently using. And uh, which one am I going to open today? Actually, let me show you something. I'm going to open uh, Unity. Here is Unity, and I did this last night. It's a camera like Five Nights at Freddy's. Here's camera one. Here's camera two. And one. I, I only made two cameras. And uh, it's, actually, it's actually very simple to make, so let's uh, let's make this. So we're going to make a new project, and let's call it uh, Les Neff. Got like caps lock on. And we're going to make this in 3D. Okay, so here is our blank project, and uh, let's clone the camera. Control D to duplicate. And now we have two cameras. Let's make a plane. 3D objects, plane. And let's change the lighting to something better. Just because we can. Let's insert a cube. See if I can make a room or something. And let's see, you're going to duplicate this. Rotate it. Press um, E to rotate. And let's duplicate this. Duplicate this um, wall here. And now we have two rooms. Let's place another object. And let's place a uh, block in the other one. Let's place the cameras. Maybe this camera needs to be a bit higher. It's gonna be a security camera. Pointing down a little bit. So this is the second room. Okay, so we got uh, camera one and we have camera two. Let's just label them. I'm going to select the main camera and I'm going to call this cam one. Should make this a lowercase. Let's select uh, camera two. Let's call this um, cam two. Let's save this. So now we need two buttons. So let's um, let's go to 2D view and we're gonna insert a uh, UI. Holy macro, that's huge. So let's insert a button UI. Button. Here's the first button. And uh, let's call this button cam1. Okay. Let's clone this. And this will be cam2. Change the number to cam2. And you can see that we have two buttons. So now we just need to attach small script to it. Let's make the script. Let's make a new C sharp script. And let's call this cams. And let's open this in Visual Studio. It's not a whole lot of code, so let's uh, get typing. Create a new public class. Ah, somebody teach me how to type. Public. <laughs> can't, can't spell public, apparently. So it's gonna be public camera. And we can call the camera cam1. Lowercase. Close it. Now we need two of these, so let's just copy this and paste it. I hate typing. Okay, it's one of the reasons I use Fusion. It's a lot easier. Now if you use Fusion before, uh, this is what you call a starter frame. So we're gonna enable camera one at the beginning. So let's go cam one dot enable equals uh, true. And we're gonna disable camera two. So let's go cam two. Enable equals false. Okay, so that will disable camera two. We're gonna need two functions. Okay, so let's uh, type public void. Oops, I cannot type. And uh, let's call the function change cam. Well, I cannot type today for some reason. Change. I think it's the keyboard. I moved the keyboard. Change cam one. And this will change our cameras. And all we gotta do is uh, basically do the same thing we did here. This enables camera one. Let's make another function. I'm not gonna type it again. I suck at typing. And let's call this cam two. Change cam two. And this is going to be the opposite. This is going to be false. And this is going to be true. So enables camera 2 and disables camera 1. Let's save this. Let's return to the Unity. Okay, so now we just need an object to hold our script. Let's uh, create a new blank object. And let's call this um, cam change. Wow, how original. Let's add a new component. And let's go cam script cams and there you go let's exit uh, to the view so we can select our cameras where are my cameras oh wait a second they're all the ways down there if you press f you can frame the uh, the shot 
Wow, I made this really small. Oh, I made the um, canvas too big. Let's select the uh, cam change object. And you notice that we have two empty cameras here. So we need to fill them. Um, this is going to be cam one. And this is going to be cam two. Let's return to 2D view. Wow, those buttons are really big. Let's select the first button. And let's add a function to the button. On click. Select the uh, cam change. And now we have access to cams let's see what is my function here is a change cam one so we're gonna select the second button and let's uh, add our object which is a cam change and let's select the function cams change cams two and let's run this camera two camera one wow so simple and now all we're missing is a jump scare. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.